watch this on YouTube. Hi, how are you today? I hope you had a great day. Hope everything is good. Hope you got some fucking money. Hope you got money. Uh, like and subscribe for money. Uh, Gordon time. Woo! Are your dude? Previously on Master Chef, the biggest showdown in Master Chef history. Nobody went home last night, chat. How fucked is that? I know I'm a better cook than that. He's an arrogant son of a bitch, and I think he's a liar. And a shocking twist. Christian's out of here, and I'm just dumbfounded. Christian, I'm here for you, Devoto. Upstairs. We love you. Still here? Why? Tonight, I want you to taste this. Christian and Chef Ramsay face off. I've heard better. You may want to be smart and start acting like an arrogant. I want to see Christian and Chef Ramsay fight. Butter Jen's ass? Hell no. Throw me under the bus. Fight, 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 fight. battle it out in front of three culinary heavyweights. At stake, a quarter of a million dollars and the title of Ooh. MasterChef. He said at stake and I immediately started thinking about steak, chat. I would love a good steak right now. Mm-mm-mm. They better message me what's wrong right now There's on Discord. Right fucking now, girl. Huge. It's mounting and I, hope, I hope to see Susie go home, Christian, or Jennifer. Those are those are the three people on really on my shit list right now. Dude, last night it was they Christian almost got eliminated, but he they fucking didn't eliminate anyone. Yes, Cloud. I kinda want Christian to stay though, JK, because I wanna I, I like to see the other contestants like you know me, I'm a fucking, I'm like a fucking protagonist, like, I, I, antagonist, my bad. I'd like to fucking see, like, uh, everyone getting pissed off. I think it makes it more interesting. Christian doesn't deserve to be here anymore. He New to hate, though? Him. Yeah, like, before it was Max, and no one hated Christian. And then once Max left, everyone's like, oh, we hate Christian now. Remember that? Like, I feel like, like, they always pick one person, like, and once that one person they hate leaves, like, there's a new person that's, like, the least favorite. Like, I feel like if Christian leaves today, it'll be the bitch in the back. What's her name again? Christine? Or whatever, it'll be Christine that everyone hates. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like you're right, JK. Take your time to rush. Feels awesome to be in the top eight. Top eight. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Make a bet right now. All right, guys. You know what today right. is. Right? Better than Jennifer be home. Jen guys. Jennifer's annoying because of her teeth. <laughs> that mean? Mystery box. It's a mystery <laughs> box challenge. What her name again? Christian yeah. makes top three. What are we betting? Well, I kind of agree. I think he might make it. I, I can't even take that bet because I think he's going to make it to the top three because honestly, as much as like a douche he is, like he's obviously a fucking douchebag, but he's one of the better cooks when it comes to like, especially fish and meats. Like with meats, I think he, like I, I think if there's some more baking going on, he might be in trouble though. Well, every mystery box challenge, the contestants have to prepare, cook, and present allows that JCAP. Yeah, you can do predictions, the predictions if you want. Some of the ingredients inside the box. We'll taste the top three dishes, and the cook with the best dish will get a critical, critical advantage in the next challenge. Yeah, no title handle is meat. <laughs> Us Christians, not that kind of meat tish. Not not sausage. Shashish. Really Queen Crazy B, good to see you, girl. Welcome in. Are they doing top three this episode though? Nah, probably not. Ready to lift those boxes? Yes. Yeah. Listen, after this episode, I think after this episode, we'll be able to do pre like predictions better, and um, it'll be more clear. I think I think this episode will really, really, really show who's the best and who's who's like really above the rest. I think Derek is one of the weakest. I like Derek. He's cool. He's chill. He's kind of goth and emo. I fuck with that. But I think Derek's weaker. I think Christine's weaker. Um, I think they're, they're the two weakest. And I think everyone else, it's up to them. So like, I think it's gonna be Jennifer, Christian, Susie, and Adrian. Are they in the top? Maybe Tracy. Oh yeah, dude, dude, he's not going home. It's seafood. This is this is this is Christian's everything, bro. He's if he goes home on this, bro, then he's a failure. He's a, he's an ab, an ab, uh, an abject failure. Right. Is what we're talking about. Yes, today. Shashish. And turf day. Oh, crawdaddies. So well Chat, what do you guys call these? Where I'm from, we call them crawdads. I've heard people from uh, different places call them different things. What do you guys call them? You guys all call them crawdads? Quiggly, slimy things. Yeah. Now, crawdads. Do you? You've got the most amazing live 
Jumbo shrimp. Crayfish. Yeah, I've heard crayfish. Alaskan king crab. Live. Crawfish. Yep, crawfish. So you say crayfish. He says crawfish. I say crawdads. Work was hell. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're chilling with us now. Crawfish. I've heard crayfish too, though. Buffalo ribeye. King crab. Mm. The most amazing dry age. Porterhouse steak. And Ooh, then, steak. Stunning little cubes. Short ribs. It's surf and turf time. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm going to win this one. You've got 45 minutes. 45? Take all or some of those ingredients under the box. Oh, I was going to say all, all. Magical. Today, for our mystery box, we have 45 minutes to complete our dish. What happened to an hour? In North Carolina, Tish, we got some pretty big crawdads. Me and my brother, we had a creek behind our house. Um, and we used to go fucking catch them all the time. We used to catch crawdads and uh, fucking salamanders. 45 minutes, starting from... Now, yeah, you could be about the size of my fucking palm sometimes, chat. Tonight's mystery box will really test the final eight home cooks. With only 45 minutes to prepare a dish. I like how I like how Master Chef wants to like make it like a make it all pretty, and so they just leave the fucking crawdads there, just like slowly suffocating. Like it's low key a little fucked. Like they could at least put them in a tank and then pull them out when it's time. It's all about making quick. But they're just like letting them suffer. Not only do they have the beautiful surf and turf items to choose. To really hurt you, but no, no, they won't hurt you. Like they can pinch you, give you a good pinch. The protein shine. Or the, I like crawfish boils. Only the top three dishes will be tasted by the judges. Today, I'm doing a Cajun-inspired surf and turf with crawfish and buffalo ribeye. Forty-five minutes. Yeah, not a lot of time. What would you do? What would I do? I'd use the bison ribeye. And um, I'd counteract that with something. Bison I'd sounds good. Use the Alaskan king crab. I would do the uh, New York strip. I'd take it off. Oh, the I'm bone so and hungry. Off, and I would do a crawfish risotto. I want it now. Uh, corn relish. We've given the grounds to be successful. I'm down to fucking get again. some surf and turf. You ready? So they have to take it to Come pick me up. Let's go. Really impressive. 15 that was juicy. 30 minutes to go. I'm hangy. My brother, when I walked out there, my brother was eating Asian food, and I was like, can I have a bite? He's like, no, it's my rice. And I was like, bro, fuck you. Um, Tish, you should see a doctor. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the crab and crawfish and shrimp. You okay? Me, yeah. Not that kind. All right, good luck. Wait, is your... Tish, did you go into the... Wait, so chat, if you didn't know, Tish has severe sunburns. I'm not laughing at that. I'm, and I'm not making a joke. Like, it's fucked up. I've, I've, I've gotten really burnt before, so I'm not making any jokes about it. But Tish, did you fucking lay in the tank bed without your underwear on? Is your cock and butthole burnt too? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, did you go in there without undies? You did, didn't you? You did. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Tish, next question. Thank you. Jigs. Because when I tan, I tan sometimes. I tan probably like two or three to four times a month during the winter times and during the fall times. Um, mostly because it helps with my acne and I don't like being super pasty. And But I'd never go in there without my underwear on. My phone died, you nasty. Like, I'll take, the, like, my booty's wide as hell, chat. I got a tan line. I got, like, a fucking, my ass fucking reflects sunlight. Like, it's like the moon. Like, it really is a fucking full moon. Two full moons. Make sure to use aloe vera. Oh, Tish, that must suck, bro. It was my first time. I mean, a lot of people tan butt-ass naked, but I don't. Always have a sock to cover if anything. Bro. Cl cloud, shut the fuck up. We're done. No more, Cloud. No more. Perfect sunlight. Right, Jennifer. But you pull it off. I'm doing a risotto. I'm making a little bit of shrimp stock. I'm actually mm -hmm. using the crab meat. Um, I'm gonna break that down. I already have my short ribs in. They're going. I'm gonna break those down. Mix it into my drink water, chat. In some of the crab. Okay. Wow. I mean, that's uh, that's ambitious. Yeah. Who's gonna struggle across this mystery um, box? You know, Christine. Christine's mind's not really here today. Ah! Shrimp. Shrimp. <laughs> shrimp is jumping. She <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp. Who do you want to see struggle more importantly? Stuck in health itch phase. No, I know how it is. I've, I don't think I've ever been sunburned as you because I can only imagine, but I've been sunburned. I know how the itch is. Now you fear every time you face no. a challenge. I had to pick somebody in the kitchen. I say Adrian is very talented, very gifted, very thoughtful. 
I'm worried mostly about Jennifer, just because she's also been a big winner in the mystery box challenges. But I never had the judges spit out my food, and I haven't had the judges throw food at me, and I haven't True. had the judges throw my food in the trash, which has happened to her. That's hot. Jennifer's low-key had some bad dishes. Are you recipient and a winner of Pat two up. boxes? Yes, chef. Third one in sight? Yes, chef. What are you doing? One in. Oh, yeah, if you have blue hair and blonde eyes, so technically, blue hair and blonde eyes, like even though people like it a lot, it's technically uh, a a from a it's like not in your family, but it started uh from an incest gene, which I mean, there's like in inbreeding in every fucking uh in every fucking race and demographic at some point. Um, but it's a it's a it's a genetic mutation as a result of inbreeding from like our great 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 ancestors. Is how blue eyes and blonde hair started. Maybe, or was it just blue eyes? But if so is being white. Um, I I think it's like it's a different type of genetic mutation, but I don't think it's from inbreeding. I think I think the thing from being white was um, I don't, I don't remember. I think it was blue eyes. But I'm not sure about blonde hair. Being white is not from incest. It's from a different genetic mutation. I'm pretty sure. I have blue eyes and blonde hair. Very short ribs and um, crab salad. I'm trying to yeah. go off a little bit here. I'm really trying to impress. It was you. about like migration of humans yes, and then humans getting less and less melanin in their skin. Like, I don't remember. It was a region thing. All right, Christian. So what do you got for us today? I'm making a uh, orange carrot, ginger emulsion. It's the prettiest blue eyes. Potatoes. She does. We're gonna run the potatoes through the uh, food mill. That's an anti blue. That's an anti blue eye pro I have blue eyes. What do you mean? I'm not. I'm not anti blue eyes. I mean, I like it. Doesn't fucking matter now. Like, it's not. It's not a bad thing. Like, like there's a lot of things like that are like results of like incest uh, from like the past. Like, like, like back then we didn't have like social and scientific awareness when there's like fucking cavemen. Yeah, my eyes, dude. Oh my god, having blue eyes in the sun or when it's snowing at the beach is the fucking worst. Oh my god, dude. Their skin got paler. Jesus. Like, dude, having blue eyes and, like, when it's... This, especially when I was in New York and there was snow on the ground, the sun would reflect off of it. I would literally be crying. I'd be driving down the road just... <laughs> just, like... And, 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 like, what's... Like, I really... I might be fucking crying so hard I couldn't help it. Run really don't like y'all. Well, I, I don't have, like... I, I don't ever, like, burn very easy this. All right, let's get back to MasterChef. Equal footing with this challenge? Um, I think a lot of people cook steak and... Seafood, but I mean, you only have 45 minutes. There's only so Chat, I talked about this the other day. I feel like, like, we watch MasterChef, we love MasterChef, but I feel like we play it in the background just to have conversations and chat. Like, it's like, I, I was, someone pointed out, someone commented on the YouTube video the other day, and they were like, they're like, at one point, you guys weren't talking about MasterChef, but I really enjoyed the conversation. Nothing like snow blindness, I have hazel eyes. Now you're good, Tish. That's what we always did back in the day. Much you can do Not much life. changed. So, Thank you, Nickel. I like brown eyes. Short ribs in 45 minutes. Background noise. Them, even in a pressure cooker. No, do you guys, do you guys like to sleep with a uh, like net like a series playing in the background, or do you guys like it quiet when you sleep? Why do people always compare color brown to poop or chocolate? There are other brown things. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like in a woman, I guess like as far as like someone I like, like I prefer brown eyes. I think big brown, gorgeous eyes are the move. What up, Tiger? I just sleep with noise me too. ASMR, yes, yes. Or Rick and Morty. I turn on. So I turn on. I watch like my hunters. I, I right now. I'm watching the Jeff Jeffrey Dahmer documentary series. Uh, why I sleep? Oh, when you have those other options, some other great cuts. Why would you go with a short? With total silence. Although I love the idea of the risotto. Love it. It's a modern servant. That's exactly what we were talking about. Taking mm -hmm. the concept of surfing. How was your day, Tiger? And making your own mm -hmm. and blowing us away. Yeah, Contact eye. Sure. I have dark brown eyes. Seems a little bit confused. That's what I like. Doing like a crab salad Big brown eyed girl. Steak. And Christian's having some trouble back there. His potatoes are under season. Yeah. My brain starts running in circles, JK, if it's silent. If it's silent and I'm sleeping, I just think like the most embarrassing things I've done throughout my life. And like the like the, like I get like just like I'm like, oh that was so embarrassing. <laughs> Or like, like fucking like the saddest moments of my life. It sucks. With light on them. Whoa, blah, 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 dub, dub. Same. All right, chat. Who you got winning this competition? This, this, this uh, uh, mystery challenge. I think it's gonna be Christian or Jennifer. How we doing, man? Very, very good. Good. Tell me what you got. I am searing no my sounds. beautiful bison ribeye right now. This new all steel Master Chef pan. Yeah. They don't have any PTFEs on them. Yes, they feel like I'm dead tired. Oh, it's gorgeous. It smells amazing from here. Thanks, Chef. 
Oh, that I'm steak looks so good. Uh, I'm doing a disc. They're doing surf and turf disc. disc. And then I have steak. I'm just letting it marinate. I just put a little bit of garlic, salt, it's pretty pepper. Mick. You have a complicated Candies. stance you take on cooking sometimes. Yeah. It has come back to bite you on the ass. It definitely has. It'd be nice to see you win a mystery box challenge. Let me be honest. Just over five minutes to go. After observing yeah, Jennifer's kind of whack here recently. The judges will select three dishes to taste. So these final seconds. Of oh my God, this shit looks hella good. Success and failure. Holy shit, that's hot. One minute. They're all left. popping off right now. I feel like. No time for backup. Beef better be cooked, and I gotta start plating. Taste, taste, taste. Oh, I wanna taste. Let me taste. Here we go. Ten. My mouth is legitimately watering. What the fuck? Seven, Christian six, World too. Five, yeah, this is making me hungry. Me too, Queen Crazy. Two, like chat. Li listen to this. I legitimately have saliva building through my mouth right now. Like I'm fucking hungry to eat some meat. I want some meat. I want to be a man. I want to eat some fucking meat. I want to run outside in the woods and just fucking chase down a deer like this barefoot run after a deer and just fucking catch it and just bite into its neck like a fucking primal beast right now. And stop. <laughs> Mighty. No, I, I'm actually salivating. You guys, is that a thing for you guys? Like, 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 I actually, like, you actually salivate when you're hungry and you see really good food. Like, I, I'll actually build moisture in my mouth. I thought spit in your mouth. That's <laughs> right, dude. Clap. <laughs> Damn, no. That's a weird way to spell yes. Uh, yes, all the time. No, I'm always moist. Right now, you're pretty burnt. Nine, eight, Bro, Tish, if Tish was a master chef, he'd be overdone right now. Seven, you're a vampire. Six, yeah, I am. Five, well, four, fuck three, you. Two, He's overdone one, meat. Stop. Come on. Well done. It's okay, because if you're overdone, then Diesel's raw. And Cloud is just right. You are always more. Sometimes, it, usually when I'm making it, Making out that happens. In this mystery box challenge, the judges will taste just three dishes. The winner will yeah. be given a you fucking rule in the next round. We were looking I for <laughs> highly creative and inventive. We've chosen the top three. This first dish used short ribs. That was a very ballsy move. I don't think you guys got my joke about cloud, but I don't want to make it too gross. Adrian. Well done. Adrian hasn't been very consistent throughout this competition. He's been on super high. Oh, what happened? Like no, nothing. Lows. I got it's okay. I'm really, really surprised that Adrian's in the top three. I didn't. I Good. Because I'm a nasty boy. Time. I missed a joke. Resell it. I can't. Beer braised short ribs uh, and black garlic. It's like contrast with the crab salad. It's like really Gee, I don't bright, need itch. acidic, slightly sweet. Yep. Sat it short ribs and salad? I feel like that's kind of like a like a waste of potential of what you could have made with all those ingredients. The bone. Yeah. Is that for decorative? Yeah, definitely for decorative, but just, you know, short rib comes on the bone and when you braise it, that adds to the flavor of it. Well, it's going to be a big ask to not make those short ribs rubbery in 45 minutes. Right. Okay. Mighty's just being real, grabbing fruit. It's delicious. I mean, a very modern take, very dangerous, uh, and surf and turf. It's good, but it's not magical. But yeah, you've pulled it off. Fruitcakes. Yeah. I know, my name. Back uh, with a vengeance. Great job. Thanks, Shane. It's really zingy and bright. Still a little bit. That's like not enough meat. Like if I if I get a dish with meat, especially some like beef, I want a fucking good amount of fucking meat. You know what I'm saying? When I was young, I would swell it a bit by bugs. Put a warm, wet cloth over it and it helps a lot. One dimensional, I think, right? Like, that's not a, that's like, I hate, I hate these dishes where there's like little bits of meat. Like, I, I want a fuck ton of meat, hell yeah. Like, I want a big ass fucking pig steak. Brave using short ribs. 45 Mouth with meat, please. Exactly, Jake. Yeah. Real no homo. Real I'll fucking there. say it. Put that the shit in my mouth. Hit or miss in this no small meat in this chat. Out of the park. Or burnt meat, Tish. All right, this next dish utilized Itchy. a great restraint, but was able to let some heat really come through. 
That dish belonged to. Fair, fair. Susie. Oh my God. <laughs> I definitely do not think Yo, so. Yo, Tracy's kind of faded into the background at this point. Bigger is better. Competition and they're going to inch her out. What a big steak. Oh What's up, Claude? I did a prawn bisque and a bison with a pan gravy sauce. I really wanted the essence of oh, the ingredients to come out. That prawn bisque looks good. I really wanted to simplify this dish. Susie's going simple. The yeah, pale ass. Simple. I'm not as yeah. pale as you. Is going at least I'm not red. I, I feel like I've got something blocked to my ears. Well, Tish just layered the lobster. Bro, Tish looks like those prawns right now. That bitch looks stank, I know. Soup is begging for a touch of season. Bro, Tish said he's living the life earlier. He's living like Larry, literally. In terms of that last little finishing touch. However, it's absolutely delicious. Living like Larry. Creamy texture. The tails are in there, and they just melt in your mouth. Oh. on the steak. I'm honestly too hungry to watch this tonight. This is bad. Mm -hmm. I can feel my stomach just rumbling. When you cook and let the ingredients shine, you're unstoppable. That is delicious. Ripetish. Well done. Thank you. You haven't been up here since the first mystery box, right? Your skin probably looks like the nether right now. Thanks, probably feels like the nether too. I think that if you keep on uh, cooking like this, your stay with us here may continue to extend. So. Congratulations. Thank Good you job. so much. Good shit. He won't okay, stop. So I can't help it. He keeps feeding me lines. It was a big wow for us because it showed technique, insight, intellect, all the things that we're expecting at this level. Out my ass. Always wear your underwear, especially in a public like a place like Planet Fitness Tank Bed. Well done. Oh, I know Christian's pissed uh, right now. It is with Jennifer. I can't imagine that she's making better food than me. I, uh, yeah, that doesn't look great. That doesn't look great. That feels like a. Where's the meat, bro? Like, I if I want if I'm gonna have a meat dish, I want the meat for front and center. I want a big piece of meat I can see cutting that shit, blood and juice flowing, and you know what I'm saying? Where's stir I don't want like in risotto little bites of meat here and there. I got the Ever again? Right away. I no, I know. I know they're clean, but and chicken stock and took the shrimp. For the broth for the risotto and i took the crab meat damn jcat jcat's fucking letting it fly tonight goodies respect <laughs> when i do a risotto i like to quarter 50 percent rice 50 percent shishimo so that every bite you really get some of that stuff fair this is this is just this goes back to the joker video where people like jcat just because she says things different she gets pushed into the corner of society and now she's gonna act out one day cloud you're this is ugh. Shake my head. Flavor is incredible. With the gym because really delicious. Yeah, I would not. Tish. Most line cooks. I would first of all, Tish. Always every single day. If you're a white person in chat, I think everyone wear sunscreen on your face every fucking day. Like, like just fucking do it. Like our skin's not built for the sun. Wear fucking sunscreen every day on your face at least. Wouldn't be able to hit a risotto that well. Thank Great you. job. Thank you so much. Okay. Shit, look hella good though. Exactly, this it'll keep you looking young too. And it's phenomenal. And if the rest of the contestants can taste the seasoning in that risotto, I tasted a bland, bland, dreadful mashed potato. But there's the benchmark. Damn, he called out. He subs. Oh, fucking subs tweeting Christian. Yeah, but uh, man, I'm not wearing it, Lamal. Christian, I want you to come down and taste this. Oh, this is embarrassing. You put mashed potatoes on a plate like that. Here's I can survive. I think it's a different kind of radiation. I think UV ray. I think UV rays are a little different than like uh radioactive rays, but I, I get what you're going for. To whatever brand said no. Very good. I've had better. Oof! He's such an ass, bro. <laughs> Look at me. He's like, look at me, kiss me, you freak. You may want to be smart and start acting like an arrogant But let me tell you something. It's cooked perfectly and it's seasoned beautifully. Kiss me. Your mashed potatoes are bland. And so what is Gordon is Gordon kind of being a white knight right now, chat, or you think he she really just did that better? Like she really is just that better. Tabith is concentrated. You'll you'll burn the sun the sun is terrible for you. It really is. 
she's just better white knight it bro i feel like he's white knighting maybe a little but i it, it does look, hers does look better i like that christian has more meat in the plate that i can see and really put in my mouth bro gordon bro listen gordon i'm not even hating on gordon for it because there's a difference between white knighting and getting pussy and white knighting and not getting any pussy if you're white knighting you're getting a little bit of a vag like fuck yeah go for it whatever you gotta do to get that vag but if you're white knighting you're still not getting any play that's cringe like slice for example I want you to identify the difference, hoping that you've got the intelligence to take it to the next level and learn from it. Serious right now? You see yours right now? Shut down. Because you can't learn anymore. And that's pretty obvious in the results you're putting on the plate. It tastes good. I'm not going to deny that it tastes Stand good. Stand up for women. I've had better risottos. Uh, in my opinion, it's base to degrade women, to look them in the eye, spit in their mouth, and choke them, and give them a little slap. That's what's base to me. <laughs> Am I gonna stand up there and butter Jen's ass? Oh, I don't like how, dude, I don't like how Jen, I don't like how, look at Jen's face. This is what ruins me. I would hate Christian and prey on Christian's downfall, but then Jen Am does some shit up? like this. Look at her. She's like, <laughs> like, I hate this. Like, this is what makes me hate Jen. Look at her. Look at her fucking nasty teeth. Butter Waiting. Ass. Yeah, it's not so based anymore, is it, Jake? Ah, ah, h. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. job. Uh, you know what, buddy? You keep saying I don't belong here. Okay, bring it on. Oh, uh, big baby Christian, man. Thanks. See, I would be with you, J-Cat, but she's so annoying. She needs it his binky. On. I think she's just like too like. Is it, this might be my like because I hate myself? She's just too blonde and per, like 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 basic pretty. Like just too like I don't know. Like just something about her throws me off. Christian any day. Really looking for one winner who will gain a huge advantage in the next She's still a bitch. Something about her. Adrian, you place a, a sort of robust short rib in an elegant way. Feeling really confident I, and I'm hoping and I feel that I won this for sure. Susie, the highlight was the bisque. We shouldn't have been the star. Just your misogynistic side soon. It'll be over soon. Listen, chat. Can can we can I say something? This might get clipped, and this might haunt me later on down the road. I would say I have a little bit of misogyny, but I say it helps me in the bedroom. If I'm just being honest, if I'm just being real. And the best stunning. I think I might actually have a shot to win a Mr. Just like blonde. That is why people are Seriously? getting so hyper blonde. Awesome. J Cat, come on, not in front of me. I'm sorry. Period. I'm back, so I was trimming my bangs. Interesting. Uh, I respect you, hella, for that. Or is it the risotto? I didn't come here to be second best. I came here to win. Came here to put everything on the plate. And I've shown that I do belong here. Okay. <laughs> tough decision. Really tough decision. JK. Congratulations. The only answer is yes. Every blonde but like the whole blonde and blue eyes thing, I don't get the appeal. I mean, for me, like, I personally like my, like, preference, like, Make sure there's no one in here that's I'm hurting anyone's feelings. Um, I prefer, like, as far as in a woman, because obviously I'm attracted to women. I kind of prefer the opposite of myself, so I like uh, um, darker complexions normally. Uh, I like darker hair, I like darker eyes. Um, I don't know. I I just I think it'd be so boring if I dated like a blonde hair, blue eye girl. Like I'd just be like. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, like blonde hair and blue eyes is kind of boring. But I feel like that's just coming from me because I have blonde hair and blue eyes. But I don't know. Then poppies, I have a chance. It is hurt in my feelings. Okay, I'm done. I'm kidding. Like I like my like I really do like big brown eyes. Like I mean, like I I like white girls too. Um, I like I like uh I've I've I I like people who are you know non-white most of the time. If I'm being real, <laughs> I've dated white girls. Don't get me wrong, but like. Before, so my last ex was the first white girl I ever fucked with. I'll be honest there. First ever. So it was a first for me. And honestly, fuck her, bro. White people are fickle. Dishes Let's go. Tasted, but only one Damn. Win this mystery box challenge. Vanilla as hell. No, no, no. I'm not saying they're vanilla. I'm not saying they're vanilla. Like, I like white women. Like, white women are fucking beautiful. But I just feel like for me, like, I don't know, bro. Can say I've ever dated a white person. You want it rough? Get you. I got dark brown eyes. No, it's not even like a skin thing or like a white thing. I think like me when I'm saying white person, I mean like like fucking like 
I have blonde hair, blue eyes, I'm fair skinned. Like I like a little bit of spice. I like a little spice. I like dark hair. I like a little bit of ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like no, you can be like I just like darker hair, darker eyes. That's what I'm trying to say. Big, fat, juicy asses. What you're saying? Just get a dragon, I'll get a Laval. I get tan and suffer though. Slides to see if it's crying. Dees, you're fucking gorgeous. Dude, I, I'm not saying white people aren't beautiful. I'm just saying, like, growing up, like, my, my woman crush Wednesday always was fucking Rihanna, dude. Oh, God, Rihanna. They've never spoken to a black person before. They'd rather not be a learning experience. Lamau. I think you're beautiful. I think that, like, uh, a lot of white people in America, like, probably haven't, J Cat, like, on, like, a personal, like, romantical level. Stand up right now. Mystery box win. All women are beautiful. Mystery box challenges. It's mine. Listen, if I have to fuck every single one of you to prove that you're all beautiful, I'll do it. I'll, I'll sacrifice that. Come on, guys. Come get the dick. <laughs> no, no. Uh, if that's what I gotta do to make you guys feel beautiful, fuck it. Oh. Jennifer. No! So selfless. Uh, Jennifer won. Oops. King. For real. Yeah. <laughs> King. Jennifer, Thank you. I'm like, Damn it. Slept in years. I'm head over heels. Bro, bro, why is Mikkel describing me right now? Because I look like I've never slept. Let's go horse teeth. Okay, Jake, I can get behind now. You're insulting her a little. I'll stick her to the desk. She, she reminds me of the Titan that bit Armin's arm off in Attack on Titan. I'm good. Come on, Hollywood. Lucky number three, congratulations. Come, come get Papa some sugar. <laughs> In the elimination test, at least one person will leave Master Chef, and now Jennifer will Christina, be. But let's be real, they're both bad options. Honestly, I kind of like Ben. He's quirky. Pile of food that everyone must cook with. Ben slept on. Today, it's all about our to AOT. Childhood. That'd be funny. Joe, Graham, and I are about to show you three amazing dishes that hold huge memories. Of all our childhood. You will pick one. Gordon, Gordon's is just haggis and beans on toast. And everyone will cook that dish. Okay. Okay, brace yourself for a shock. Recognize this little booger? Oh my. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a cute kid. Even at the age of four, he really went for that scare. He looks like someone out of the <laughs> omen. Damn. Oh, I was a cute little guy. It's like when the kids like from like the sh like from like a scary movie where he's like standing in the middle of like the hotel hallway and like you go like you lost little kid like turns around and like runs away and disappears into nowhere. <laughs> he grew up eating around Greenwich Village and traveling throughout Italy. Just for that you category. Food Rip. That's <sighs> wrong. The most popular food in the world. Italy's gift to humanity. Oh, God. <laughs> Joe would be a pizza guy. I I knew I liked Joe. Honestly, chat, I like a really good pizza. I'm a big pizza guy. Like I, I like a really good fucking pizza. Yes, it's the almighty <laughs> pizza. My grandmother would cook me a focaccia pizza with great buffalo mozzarella and a I love pizza. Me too. Sauce every day after school. Bastardized pizzas. Okay. This guy. Favorite toppings. My favorite. My favorite pizza, and this is kind of a newer thing I've tried, like, probably in the last year, is the Philly cheesesteak pizza, of course, without mushrooms, with, like, the, the white sauce, the purple, um, I think it's, where do I get the good one from? I can't remember, but it's got, like, steak, onions, green peppers on it, oh, fuck, it's good. Margarita pizzas, oh, I fuck with margarita pizzas, heavy, too, yes, yes, JK, you're talking about my fucking god, so just trying to get me horny, dude, there's this place in New York that's so good, I can't even eat pizza normally now. Banana pepper and barbecue sauce. My brother loves banana peppers, dude. My, bro my brother's weird. Bro, you guys, tonight on stream, have when we get to Ben's stream tonight, ask Ben what his Subway order. My brother gets the fucking weirdest sandwich goddamn ever. And he does the same thing to his fucking pizzas when he can. Good, I can't. Like, he, he asks for, like, extra banana peppers. Like, he loads his shit with banana peppers. Already rubbing his belly at age five. <laughs> now, my... Ew. Childhood favorite. He puts like jalapenos, hot sauce, sriracha. Like my brother eats like my brother's sub sandwich would be called but would be like uh like fucking melted butthole is what they would name that sandwich. I like barbecue Memphis pizza. I love vinegar on a sammy. I like how pizza is so customizable. It's so it's such a nice dish. It's hot. It's cheesy. Mac and cheese. I was a kid and I love it today. 
I like baked mac and cheese better. Okay, recognize this. Assume there were a large kid too. Damn. And clearly the cutest. Aww. Uh, that photo was taken three months after I lost my virginity. Gordon, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Weird. Now, something that still what? A huge he said his photo was taken three months after he lost his virginity. The same stuff I get, it's not weird. What, sir? He's like, he's like five years old, what the fuck? Memory today. Weird flex, but okay. Tomato soup with grilled cheese. Dude, I made this yesterday. Even when you're feeling down, a bowl of tomato soup just gives you that lift and the grilled cheese just sends you to heaven. Yes. I agree. No, honestly, grilled cheese, tomato soup is super simple, but it's such a good meal. Looking for something along the lines of a adult gourmet version of our childhood memories. Pizza, pizza, come on, pick pizza. I wanna see all the good pizzas they can make. Please don't do something stupid like mac and cheese or grilled cheese. Please do the pizza so we can see some fucking awesome pizzas. Come on. Well, I grew up in all three of them and... The theme was... She, if she, she's probably, she's so bland. She probably did grilled cheese or fucking mac and cheese. I think it's gonna be great, Christine. Without making it a melt? I have no clue. All the time, so I think it shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard. The choices were pizza, mac and cheese. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. To Nickelback. Let's fucking go! Look at this photograph! Anything but tomato soup and grilled cheese. The dish that Jennifer picked and my childhood favorites. Oh, you basic, bland, stupid bitch. I want to reach to the fucking screen and shoot you in the goddamn forehead. You stupid cunt. Grilled cheese. You just pissed me off. I wanted to see some yummy pizzas. I'm with you, Susie. Really? Are you kidding me right now, bro? Really, bro? Here's the catch. You have to present us with a stuff. Bro, you know Jennifer's cooter smells like fucking shit. You know that shit smells fishy as hell. I can just tell by the way she eats. God damn it. I'm gonna lose some cry. Oh. Probably. And the grilled cheese. Lame. I know. Minutes. So boring. 45 minutes. The longer you have for soup, the better. Just for those flavors to intermingle with one another. In 45 minutes, it's not a lot of time. You've got five minutes in the pantry to shop for the ingredients that could absolutely make or break your dish. Ready? Oh, God. Go. I thought this was gonna be a fun challenge. <laughs> It's hard to make gourmet. Yeah, but I want to see. I wanted to see some yummy pizzas. The grilled cheese thing for me is tough, so I grab a bunch of different cheeses and then I see foie gras. It's an ingredient that you normally don't ever get to work with. I've actually never used it before, so I'm thinking I'm gonna get it and maybe use it. It speaks to me. That's not a good idea, Christian. This is an elimination challenge. Wait, is everyone's baby pictures? Dang, Susie has an age today, literally. So we get back to our stations and there's these giant friggin' pictures of us from when we were little kids. I am the way that I am. Oh my god. Don't get distracted, start cooking at 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. Hey, Derek was kinda handsome back in the day. Oh Jesus. Susie. You, you got like five grilled cheese. <laughs> ben. Did you make that pizza? Yes, and it won a blue ribbon. <laughs> now, at the back. Drippy. Elimination challenge. Bro, why did why did Jennifer's teeth look even giant as a child? Challenge. She's just always had giant adult chompers. I like how they just look look at like happy memories of them as a child, and then Gordon's like makes all their smiles disappear. Your Forty-five minutes starts from. Now, off you go. Mm. On paper, Gordon's upset people. Energy, like, like, here's a great memory of you from your childhood. Also, one of you guys will go home depressed as fuck and feeling like an utter failment. Failment. I'm a failment. I'm a fucking failment. What the fuck is a failment? But you really Failure. God damn it. And what's going to be difficult about this is you kind of got to think about what am I going to do with grilled cheese that works? Sh it's, a, it's a thing. Uh, it's a thing, JCat. Come together. So, big stumbling blocks in terms of issues. So being too thin. I, I combine disappointment and failure. Failment.
<laughs> like she's a horse girl. Horse girls are freaky, trust me. Sure. Too bright, could be a little chunky. Lack of imagination, too literal. <laughs> the biggest risk. Sure. It's not gonna impress, it's not gonna stand out. It's not what we're asking for. Toughest part for me today is definitely the suit. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Uh-oh. Bro, I hope Ben does not go home. Ben's such a good guy, he's so cool. Such a chud. Right, Susie, you have just popped out of this competition now, and you're sort of back in the game. And it'll be a great shame to see you go on the back of a bowl of tomato soup and a grilled cheese. Why is a bowl of tomato soup. My tomato soup is updated. We've got bourbon in there, and it's gonna. It's be uh the wrong color, Susie. It's yellow. An heirloom tomato that I'm roasting right now. Sounds like you're going complicated again, Susie. Not at all. We're down to eight. Yes, yeah, chef. At least one of you's leaving. Yeah. Who is it? Um. Christine. Christine's been a little loopy from the beginning. I, I Damn. really think that she needs to leave the competition. Look, so I put alcohol to make things more adult. Um, I think a green tomato. I don't know. Honestly, I've I've never cooked with alcohol. Chat, does it really change flavor things that much? Barbie. Um, it seems to be like I'm the only one that picked green tomatoes. Green tomatoes for tomato soup is that good? Adrian. We're bad. A foie gras grilled cheese sandwich and creamy tomato, tomato soup. soup. Would you put that together? No. So a lot of rich flavors there. going for a rustic sort of chunky oven roasted vine tomato soup. I put it the rest of the. When I put cannabis instead, yeah. Yeah. I think he's gone a little too simple. Mid. That's what I'm worried about. God, I fucking miss smoking weed. Chunky roasted tomato soup, but we need to see it elevated. I need some bud. Just over 15 minutes left, everybody. Make sure you cook the alcohol out of it. Oh, she just drank the alcohol before. She cut herself? I completely cut myself. And there's blood all over my board. Aw, oh, damn. From this board. It does. I have to start from scratch. We just start again. And I only have like 15 the Budweiser. Left. I'm so screwed. One steak is good. Ouchies. I could go for a fucking glass of red wine and a big juicy fat steak right now. Just over 15 minutes left, everybody. 15 I just want some, minutes. I want some meat, bro. So I can never cut myself. What do you mean? You don't have the Master Chef uh, series kitchen knives that can cut through actual humans? I can actually cut through bone of a human that you want to kill and then still cut a tomato? You don't have the Master Chef knives? Oh, sorry guys. Ad, by the way. They're paying me. <laughs> what if you guys find out one day that I was actually fucking hired by Gordon to like rewatch these? And I bled on uh, the bread that I was using there, so I'm not using that board at all. I have to start from scratch. I don't know, I like a little blood. Oops, did I say that out loud? One stunning portion. Five minutes to go. And for at least one of you, your last minutes in the master Yikes. chef kitchen. Come on. Hey yo. I get my grilled cheese done. And and for Gordo, womp womp. Am I, I'm too I'm too unfamily friendly for Gordon. I taste grilled my tish. Food, and it's a disaster. Something has gone horribly wrong with my soup. How do you mess up tomato soup? Like it should at least be decent, right? Come on. Finish, finish, finish. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. The judges will now taste all eight dishes. The contestant with the worst dish will be leaving the master. Will be murdered. Susie, let's do it. Will be fucking killed. Well. It definitely came down to the wire. I'm literally in my pants. Honestly. She's just shitting in her pants. A 3G uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Bruh. 3G. Yeah, I've got a little bit of goat cheese, smoked gouda, and a little bit of Gruyere. The tomato soup that's chunky. This doesn't look too bad. It's also got a little bit of bacon in there, and it also has roasted red pepper. It's got bacon, so it could be pretty good. It's a tiny ass sandwich, I'd be pissed. Very simple, but flavors that we all understand, you know? Really, really will be spit roasted by the judges. I bet everyone would be like fucking like putting like fucking shit and piss in their food. Judges. I bet everyone would be like, oh my god, that scared me. Did you guys hear my voice echo for a second? Teeny tiny bit of mushrooms. I deglazed with bourbon. 
and you can totally taste the bourbon. It's amazing. You taste not only the bourbon. What was that? You taste like the sweet toast from the bourbon barrels. It's amazing. I, I hit uh. It takes vanilla or tropical. I hit the unmute button on my barrels. on my stream. Congratulations. Good job, Susie. Okay. One big question. Where's the tomato? Uh, it's. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah, it's you over there. It? You want to see? Okay. Of course I do. You told me you're serving tomato soup in a freaking roasted tomato, and I want to see that tomato. Why did you change your mind? Um, I, I thought it was overly complicated, but it was gonna explode. Well done. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Lol. Yes or no? It's delicious. Thank you. It is absolutely <laughs> freakily delicious. Thank you, Chef. Great job. Thank you so well much. Well done. The judges talk about Susie's dish being great. Fine, whatever. The fact that it came out pretty perfect, I think it's more of an accident. Damn, Adrian, hating. Just hating, hating. I didn't roast the tomatoes, so it's a little more acidic. It's garnished with chives and a lemon honey creme fraiche. The sandwich I got layered. Sandwich looks good. Chago, blue cheese, honey, bacon, and the foie gras that you saw earlier. It's a cream-based tomato soup. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's where you gotta be very careful in terms of the level of cream. It looks so you've pretty good. In the soup. Then you're gonna put bloody foie gras in between two slices of fried bread. I am so rich. I wanted it modern, but bold. You know, it's way over the top. Damn, Adrian. Christian, please come forward. All right, J-Cat. Today for you, Chef, I made a creamy tomato soup. His looks good. From my grilled cheese. Lobner. I rubbed it with some foie gras. I melted the cheese, which is drunken goat. Fontina, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a piece okay. of prosciutto in there as well. The soup could have used a little more seasoning. The flavors are good, but it's a little dry for my liking. Okay. I think Damn, it'll be loses. Uh, been a little bit harder than, on me than other competitors because they, you know, know that I'm going to be a great chef someday. <laughs> Bro, what? Okay, okay. I can't support him anymore. What? That's not why they're hating on you. They, they could be hating on you because your food isn't the best one or because you're being a little cocky shit recently, which I can admit to as well. But don't say because, oh, I'm going to be a great chef one day. Like, come on. Let's it looks so look good. It did look good. I'm walking up to present this soup to the judges, and it's literally disgusting. And I wonder if I should maybe just trip so that it falls on the ground. This is an awful position to be in. I really wanted to oven roast my tomatoes to concentrate that flavor, but 45 minutes just isn't enough time to do that. But it actually works well with my sandwich. My sandwich is incredibly rich, bold flavor. Get him out. Thin tomato got him, boys. Great for dipping. He missed not, not one dish. now. Thank you, chef. Absolute the way out of a paper bag. My initials aren't BS for nothing. No. Jeez. Okay. So, how did you cook the tomatoes? Quick blanch to peel and seed the tomatoes with a... Uh, Okay, gonna stop there. When Gordon tastes my soup, he does one of these, and I know I've- Oh, lost. shit. That is one of your worst performances in- Oh, no. Ben's gonna go home, I think. Tastes like um, the kind of acidity you have in unripe grapes. Tomatoes are inherently very acidic. And unfortunately, Yikes. I'm taste in that uh -oh. and to a point where it's almost Damn. palatable. I like I liked Ben. After that soup, I mean any redeeming quality that sandwich might have doesn't even play. Damn. This is the worst thing that I've produced on this show. I'm going home. Fucking tomato soup out of everything. Friggin' tomato soup. Any redeeming quality that sandwich might have doesn't even play. Big mistake. Sorry. Oh, buckla! See, I used it in context there, chat. And upsetting, and I really feel like in the back of my brain they're gonna nail me to the wall and send me home. Unless Christine does worse. Christine might do worse because she used green tomatoes. What have we got here? We have a uh, Mediterranean style tomato Aww. soup. I use fresh tomatoes, a little mm -hmm. tomato paste with right. a pancetta and fontina grilled cheese. This looks safe. 
It's like Tracy was playing it safe. Are so tangy. Well, uh, they said they said when they were when she's making, they're like, never seen anyone make tomato soup with green tomatoes. So that statement either could be uh, a positive or a negative. You know, like I, I don't know. I've never had green tomato soup. Have you? Dark, rich, spicy, but just explodes. You got it right. It's very gourmet and it is delicious. Thank you, chef. Thank Good you job. so much. That, that looks like a safe dish to me. No. Just green she salsa. Like she knows about that she doesn't, and I can't wait till Jennifer goes home. It's roasted um, heirloom tomatoes and plum tomatoes. Her I soup doesn't look bad, but her sandwich. Look at the sandwich, chat. Wish I had bread. Love a grilled. I'll make you one, JK. I'll make a mean grill. Like what is that, dude? That's too much. That's too extra to be a fucking grilled cheese. It was like a pile of shit. The heat. Where does the heat come the from? The heat comes what? from chipotle, ancho chilies that I um, put Chipotle in and chiles and tomato soup? Tomato soup's savory, not spicy. What is this dumb bitch doing? Through it, and then the chili, just a little bit of chili powder. It's very good. Like a very nice exercise in richness versus... Bro, they just want to fuck her. ...and heat. I don't know if they're they think he's gonna be a great chef. So what's the reason they hating on Jen? Kind of individually. Well, she said she, did, she no still did decent, I guess. She did good here. But he's such a hater, bro. He really wants to see Jen go home. Come on up and join us. I'm excited about this dish. Come on, D Rock. It looks simple, but it's got Let's go, D Rock. Flavors behind it. Big D. Uh, you've got a creamy tomato and bacon gorgonzola. Oh, I love this word, gorgonzola. He exudes hater energy. He really does. I, but I want to see. I want to see someone else go home tonight. Maybe two more other people go home before Christian goes home and before Jennifer goes home. That way, Christian and Jennifer can get even can get if can get into an even more heated like kind of like competition, like one v one, where like they're like maybe they're they just them two in a pressure test. That'd be cool. But I have a reason. Dude, what if Master Chef knows they they're building this tension between Christian and Jennifer, and they make Christian and Jennifer the final two just because of the drama and the, and the, and the tension they're building between the two, and they just keep them in the competition. Because I think they would do that for views and ratings. Because they are building a huge rivalry between them. I hope they do. That would be fucking great. Cheese, there's a very thinly sliced tomato, some bacon, some brie, and some gouda. I just want Christian to go home. Jesus. There's no other cheese but the Yeah, but imagine the epic sh battle off in the final between... It's like tomato and cream and bacon all hanging out at the schoolyard. And then this big gorgonzola bully comes along and just beats the crap out of them. I love the word gorgonzola, but I have no idea what it tastes like. It wasn't coming up with a cheese soup mm -hmm. flavored with tomato. I still think it might be Ben. Right. Sandwich um, looks like it's come out of a diner. Today, yeah, you've missed the boat. And they're at gorgonzola. It's a cool word, though. Oh. You lost the dish. All I taste is gorgonzola. It shuts everything else down. Only a Mexican style shredded cheese in American. Last up. Very Christine, smoky, salty cheese. Please. I have a roasted green heirloom tomato soup with a. All right, here's a green tomato. Cheese with bacon. Very acidic. It's got that big kick. Is that what you wanted? Maybe I should have left the vinegar off. Talk to me about your grilled cheese. You've got provolone. Mm -hmm. Goat like, cheese. Mm -hmm. Why are the two together? Because I love goat cheese and I love provolone. Nice. Well, I also like fucking killing myself. <clears throat> Put cheese on the outside. I never understood that because it's more gourmet. It's, it's more together. fancy. And it's sort of marred by the vinegar. It's maxed out to. It's just blowing. Just blowing. That should help a little bit. Acidic. Let's just hope this isn't your last cooking experience inside this competition. Remind me to turn it down or the video games will be hella loud for chat later. Yeah, it's Things are all cheesy. Texture, because when you're rich and fancy, that's what you do, Jcat. Use Google Chrome, right? No, I use Firefox. Are you kidding me? And Bing. Food-esque. Internet Explorer. Fun, fun. All the ones everyone hates because I like to be different. It's almost got Firefox like gang. Thing happening. Ben shits out. on me for using Firefox. Um, 
All right, thanks. Go ahead, it's, it's Better by far. Little. Wait, Christine is a weak dish too? Cream and vinegar, very difficult together. Cream and vinegar? Pretty big technical error. Why would she put vinegar in it? Well, hopefully it doesn't send me home. Provolone blow is me. A, is a you blow cheese. me. The other one is, is going blow each other. Like completely out of context, very contrasting, not complimenting. Oh, fuck Google. It's very greasy. Okay. Boogle. That's okay? No, it's not okay. I'm just listening to you saying yes. Yeah, this type of one, Chef. You love using ed you love edging. Everyone loves a good edging. I don't know what she was thinking. Wait, Real what? Cheese looks pretty disgusting. <laughs> Susie, you hate Nass ho! After tasting all eight dishes, Let's go. the judges must choose between the ones that brought back I love a good edging giraffe. memories and the ones that inspire nightmares. Let's start off with the two best dishes. The first one belongs to... Tracy, congratulations. Let's go, Tracy! Your dish was fantastic. Thank you. But there was one dish out there that was a millimeter above its competition. Congratulations, Susie. Let's go, Suze. I'm just glad it was in Jennifer. It's more intense. You pick Susie. Thank you. I don't think she's the one to beat. She's the one that I want to beat up. Christine, shut up, or I'll beat you up, bitch. Okay, bitch. There were three dishes at the bottom, and for at least one of you. It will be the end of your dream in MasterChef. Yikes. The first dish belongs to... Christine, come down here, please. Damn, I'm talking I'm shit. I'm surprised that Christine is in the bottom three. Me either. There's a lot of people here that shouldn't be here, so I'm hoping we're going to cut out the Bro, path. Susie's talking mad shit right now. The second dish... It's be Derek and Ben. Derek, please come forward. All right, chat. I'm not surprised. Not a one of them liked it. I'm hoping they'll take a little bit of pity on me and kind of just say, you know what? He's got some fight left in him. I'm hoping that I'm going to make it through this and survive somehow. The third dish belonged to Ben Starr. Come up here and join us. Yikes, bro. If this I think it's between Christine and Ben. Me home from Master Chef, I'm going to go completely stark raving crazy. Damn, I liked Ben. Christine, Derek, and Ben, you've brought joy to all three of us and really blown us away with some magic. Really moments. blown us, blown our dicks. Yes, JK. It's really difficult for us. Yep, right now. Fucking grilled cheese and tomato soup. Chat, who's going home? Cast your bets. This. Is where it gets really difficult for us. I think Christine's leaving. I think Christine or Ben. Ben, step forward, please. They never eliminate the first person. Is Ben safe? Or Christine, to be honest. I like, what do you mean? You prefer, I prefer Derek to, and Ben step. Oh, oh, okay, I read, I read that wrong, my bad. I agree. But you're staying. Let's go! To your station, please. They've given me one last chance. I am going to take it and use it. Me too. Next is going to be brilliant. Smile when he Christine, said he's staying. Derek, Ben's quirky. I like him. He's like a little you quirkster. Both had highs and lows across this competition. And the cute. You can tell he likes him. I mean, yeah, there's something about Ben that's like charming. But this. Like a Where goofy little band friend you have back in high school. The person leaving Master Chef is no way it's Derek. Christine, I'm sorry. Bye, bitch. You, madam, have been a breath of fresh air. Ah. Uh, Stop cooking. Derek will go home. Bye, Christine. Ain't talking all that shit. Head up high, okay? You surprised yourself. I'm just guessing. Lot later, girl. You've done bloody well, but don't Damn. Stop. She honestly just kind of coasted. Like she was in so many elimination challenges, she just kind of coasted on never being the worst. 
Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, Christine kind of sucked. Keep cooking. <laughs> oh, that's so, so sad, so though. Myself. Fuck. Yeah, but you were annoying a little shit. Sucks, but I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't wait to go home and. What's up, Jess? How are you? Hugs. And I know that this is not the end of my journey. There's so much more out there. Hey, mom, what do you think? Get me a. Uh, give me a motherfucking uh, ham no. sandwich. Wait, did I... yet. Wait. Blast a five layer burrito, please. Five layer burritos are dang. Burger. No way, no way, no way, no way. Sorry. You are leaving. <laughs> a double Elim? A double Elim? Derek, your passion is extraordinary. Why? And you have a very strong connect. You're going to say head at first? You what? Stay on that journey. Next time you're in New York, stop by one of my restaurants. You know where to find me. <laughs> they didn't say that shit to Christine. Ah! They didn't make up for the last episode. That's so fucked. Derek's like, but you know when, when Christine eliminated, Derek's like, yes, I, I got one more chance. Woo! Express right. Together and talk about your, I think, very optimistic career in the culinary arts. Oh, that'd be, that would be sick. Thank you, Derek. Oh! Derek's handling so well since his sandwich was Come shit. Say goodbye. Thank you. Oh, that's a bitch guy. We don't get they're like, yeah, they're like, keep cooking for your kids. Get out of here. Little scamp. Being eliminated, w Derek. Going home now, you know, it, it's depressing. You know, I really would have loved to be around more, to, to learn more, and, you know, to cook more. But I'm definitely going to pursue cooking much more seriously than I ever even thought about before. You may be someplace in Manhattan or LA or somewhere, wherever I end up. You may be eating. There's only six. Oh, shit. Rock on, Derek! Woo! Did see that coming? Neither did I. And tomorrow, you'll the mutton chops, though, they kind of grew on me. Just like they did him. Hope he shaves those things. Well done, and good night. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Why didn't you leave to the main interest, Lamau? Because he's a he's a rebel. Next time, on he's different. The opportunity of a lifetime tonight. You'll be taking over this. I threw him a party after for sure. Turns into a disaster. Two risotto, two hamachi, two beef, two scallops, two, two risottos, two hamachi. Can I have an answer? Can I have a answer? Do you think that I am serving that out there at the end of the night? Damn. One more home cook. Our major turn off. The Master Chef Kitchen. Please take off your apron. If you watch this on YouTube, I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check my other content. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So.